Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider liking the video. When you like the video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing this video. You guys have realized that sometime you bump into the video, you watch, then you go without liking the video. Do you know that when you like the video, you automatically support the work of this video? And this video is going to be recommended in the YouTube platform. And number two, this video is going to reach more people. So please consider supporting the work that I'm doing this video by liking the video. Thank you so much. Now, let us go back to the main discussion. Ladies and gentlemen, Juliana Sherera with other three, they are like being vindicated. And when these individuals came out having their press briefing at Serena Hotel, at the same time that Wafula Chibukati announced William Ruto to be elected president of the Republic of Kenya, there was a big problem there that even some Kenyans today, they don't understand what happened. I want to say that we might leave alone Wafula Chibukati because he is retired. He retired. But the truth is, Kunavitu, we must ask ourselves, Look at the result of Baringo. I analyzed yesterday during the night. And as if this is not enough, we are not only having problem with Baringo results. We are having a big problem with major results across the Republic of Kenya. And there is something that some individuals in the Republic of Kenya, they don't want us to talk about. But as much as already William Ruto is the president, I know some people will tell us, oh, we don't want to listen to that. Let us focus now. William Ruto is the president. But I want to tell you the way I said it during the night. William Ruto is going to be the president 2027. But the reality is, William Ruto is already having plans. How he's going to elect himself? Not to be elected. To be, he's going to elect himself to be again the president 2027. Mupende musipende, mutapiga nduru, mutapiga maandamano kwa barabara. Why? Because we always assume some issues that are being raised and we forget them. When Cherera and other three came out telling us there is a big problem, there is a big problem with this result. Some Kenyans came out saying, oh, Wafula Chibukati is our hero. Wafula Chibukati did a good job. Nothing Wafula Chibukati did. If the last general election of 2017 was nullified, you still believe in this man. How? How will you trust this man that election was free and fair? So when I was just looking at the result of Baringo, he's already exposing everything. Secondly, look at the ghost schools that are being exposed. As already Baringo, we are having ghost schools. No? What about Siaya County? What about Muranga County? What about Mombasa County? What about Wasingishu County? And these schools were used as polling stations. And remember, they have registered everything. And it is being recognized as schools registered by the government. No school structures, no teachers. It is only signboards sign, sign and gates that we are seeing. And so, when we look at the last general election 2022, kulikuwa na malpractices of rigging election. And they started at the polling station, not at the bombers. And that is why I always have problem with Raila Odinga and his team. They, all, they only concentrated on the last result that was being announced at bombers of Kenya. They talked about Form 34C, so you from 34A, you know? The question is, are we going to have a free and fair general election 2027? Absolutely no. And I'm not having any fear to say that. We are not going to have a free, fair and election that can be verified. I know, I might say that some people, when you are going to vote, when you are going to vote, when you are going to vote, we have been voting. Let me tell you, mmekuwa mkivote since hata wengine 2007. Wengine walibrag wanajua vile election ilienda. But let me tell you again, 
again and again. William Ruto is going to elect himself. And you are not going to do anything. We'll continue yapping. We'll continue making noise. We'll continue demonstrating to pig with tear gas. But the reality is this man has already laid grounds. How he's going to be re-elected? Mukwe Mkasirike at Lkuja kwa promised some issues here and there. But the reality, the man is going to re-elect himself. How is this man going to re-elect himself? Because you came out rubbishing the statement of Akina Juliana Sherera, Justice Nyangaya na kwena wangine. You came out vindicating that Wafule Chibukati and the three. How can a total of seven IEBC, four of them, they are rejecting the result. Three are declaring the president. Then you're telling us we should be comfortable. We should be uh, keeping quiet. We should not talk about this. I will remind you Kenyans. Ata muchoke na story of Wafule Chibukati. I will remind you. No election that is going to be conducted free and fair and election that can be verified as long as William Ruto is still in the politics of the Republic of Kenya. Take it to the bank. So if you're waiting that election is going to be free and fair, then you are daydreaming. In fact, if truly Raila Odinga will not be on the limelight of politics of the Republic of Kenya, 2027, you say how? I'm telling you. That is whatever plan that some individuals are having. So as much as we can talk, as much as we can say what we can say, as much as we can give our opinions, the reality is Wafule Chebukati is a disgrace to our country. And those who are saying Wafule Chebukati is a hero, it is, he is a hero to them. Wafule Chebukati is not a hero. Wafule Chebukati bangled the election of 2017 and it was nullified. Wafule Chibukati bangled election of 2022. And I will say it. You know, some people want to Wafule Chibukati apakwe mafuta. But the reality is, Wafule Chibukati is a disgrace to our country. And those who are saying that he's a hero, I don't know the meaning of the hero they are talking about. I just know the hero that is substantiated to someone who has been doing something good somewhere, you know. But this man, Wafule Chibukati, is no. You know, because of, uh, Wakina Cherera, when they came out, even what if, ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you, what if Wakina Cherera, wangetangaza Raelu Dinga wina, then Wafule Chibukati atangaza William Ruta wina, hii nchi ingekua wapi? Then you want us to pake Wafule Chibukati mafuta to massage, then you feel good that you are praising Wafule Chibukati. Wafule Chibukati is a man that should be arrested, you know, and this country, we've been having a kind of leadership that, for example, let us speak about uh, the, 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 the leadership. You will find that someone will come out to defend Wafule Chibukati because he understands or she understands the benefit he's getting from Wafule Chibukati. You know, she understands very well. And so then, after he I may declare Hivo, his wife is being employed in William Ruto's government. Wanapewa matendas, wanafanya mabiyashara. Let me tell you. We are going to leave alone Wafule Chibukati. We are not going to talk about Wafule Chibukati again. But mark my words. Malipo ni hapa duniani. Ni hapa hapa tu. Hakuna mahali malipo itafanywa. Ni hapa hapa duniani. What Wafule Chibukati did was a wrong thing. Was a wrong thing. And it's so bad that a man that cannot work with his colleagues. Imagine, ata wafula angeenda, finya ata yu watu yaki. Asema pana, ata kami election mbaya. Wacha tuitangaze, waonekani ni kama wako in unity. But sasa, watu ngapi? Tatu. Out of four. Wanatangaza president. Wanatangaza president. What can you say? About the results we are seeing now? Ghost schools that were used as polling stations, polling centers, and then you want to, to tell us that you believe that William Ruth is the president. We will just accept that he is the president now, yes. But for me, I usually don't believe that William Ruto is the president of the Republic of Kenya. Now, when you are not going to be president of the president of the Republic of Kenya, the reality is William Ruto is going to re-elect himself. 
and he has already laid all the grounds how he's going to take this. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.